everyone. Sorry, the phone decided to turn itself off due to heat, but that's all right because we're at kind of a good breaking point. I was going to show you how you can sketch out a design. So you get things from your head onto paper or onto a canvas. So let's do that together, okay? All right. So say I was thinking about the dove, and I mentioned this to you earlier, the dove of Pentecost, right? And I knew I want to have people around, and I do kind of more caricature work, so not always faces. And then I might have some random animals, okay? So I saw that in my head, but how do I put it onto paper if I have an idea? And you can do this with any idea you have. So an easy thing on a canvas, if you want to kind of make it bigger or onto a piece of paper, is just get a writing thing, like a pencil or a pen or a marker, and just kind of start to sketch it out. So you want to see where your paper ends, right, where your canvas ends. You want to think of those sides, and you want to think of how big it is. Because when it's in your mind, it's not the same as when it's on to something else. So I'm going to just start with the dove, right? And I know a dove has a head, and I'm going to kind of come around for this head, okay? And the dove's gonna come out with a beak of sorts, right? But it's not, wait, but then I look and I go, oh, that doesn't look like a bird. That It looks like a bird, but not a dove because his beak's too big. So then I'm gonna kind of fasten it back and kind of bring that back in so that it's just a small piece, right? Okay. But maybe I wanna say, well, what if I wanna come down for the wings? So I wanna kind of come up a little bit and go out. And then the wings are going to come back and they're going to have, we just imagine this because we're not doing it yet final. We just need to see space wise. Okay. And I want to come up for this wing, come out. And I want that wing to be a little different. I want it to be in movement. All right. And then I'm going to come down the back. And remember, we're not doing this completely detailed. We just want to think about our space, right? First. Now I know that I want that dove to bring stuff down and that'll probably be in color when I come back. So what is the dove shouting down at Pentecost? Fire and uh, wind, right? So maybe blues and reds. And now I want to put some people here, okay? So with people, one easy way to do it when you just want to do a design is you make a semicircle for their head, right? And then Bible people often were wearing things like cloth. So you can kind of come down like that and you got yourself a Bible person, right? Or maybe you want them to look at you. So you got the circle sorts. You're gonna come down on one side. Now you bring this over a little bit because it's gonna cross their head. And then you bring this side down. Okay. Give them a little bit of a neck. And then something across. And there you got your person looking at you. You know, maybe you want somebody looking in that direction at the bird, right? So you think about the head, but you're not gonna map it out. You're just gonna come back with a drape. Okay. So you don't have to worry about their head at all because they're looking in that, and then maybe they're lifting up their hand. And so their hand comes up, okay? Okay, yeah, nice. Okay, so maybe we want to put an animal, maybe like a little sheep, all right? So we got a sheep here, we got a little sheep ears. Sheeps are very curly, so when you're not doing it for detail work, you're just kind of mapping it out. You want to put lots of little circles. Okay. Okay. And maybe there was a lion there because the lion and the lamb are going to be together. So lions are fun. You get to kind of go like this. Maybe that lion's looking at us. So he's bigger than the sheep, but not by much, though, which I'll have to fix later, right? Give him his liony tail. And the lions have a big snout, big nose, right? It doesn't have to be detailed, you just want to know where you've got it marked, okay? So we're starting to have our picture come to idea. Now maybe we want to come off this. Now we say, okay, but look, see all that top space now? That's, you know, that much space up there, or we got this much space here, or that much space there, right? So we want to think about what's in our space. Okay, and so maybe coming off of him, I might think, okay, well, what about maybe an olive branch that he might hold in his beak? Little olives. Okay, so that's going to give me some more space. But maybe I want some fire. And so fire's a little different. Fire can come up like that. Okay. Now, if you were doing wind, you might do something like this. Right? Or water might be something like this, but with fire, I'm going to come up to make these kind of like pieces of fire, right? 
And so now I've kind of got a map a little bit of what my piece is. Now that is a big dove and maybe I want that for this one or maybe I don't. Art is about what you want to make it. What story you're trying to tell in your head that you want to put on the paper or you want to put in a piece of pottery or you want to sew or you want to embroider. Any of these kind of cool things that we've been doing are about getting your imagination out onto something else so somebody else can see what you're thinking. And right now that's a good thing to do. One of the best ways we can express things is to express ourselves through art. Maybe you're happy and you want to show that. So you're going to use probably bright colors, right? Maybe you're sad and you're going to use maybe darker colors. And maybe you're angry. And a great way if you're angry and you don't know how to express it is ask for some Play-Doh. And Play-Doh, you can smush it up really tight and you can let out some of that frustration. We call this art therapy. And art therapy is a really wonderful tool for children and adults to use. Um, it kind of gives you an outlet. An outlet means some way to let things out. Right? To let out, outlet, it's a good way to remember, right? You're letting it out onto either a canvas or a piece of paper or to Play-Doh or to Legos. Whatever form of art you want to do is great, but just find some way to let your imagination and let your feelings onto paper. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get back to work outside and work on some of those canvases. And as you see, I chose to do, I'm going to do some detailed stuff where I have a map in my head of how it's going to look. But you can do it any way you want. You can be like Becky and do it really abstract and somebody you might say what is that picture that you done and you said well I know what it is and that's okay if nobody else does either because it's your imagination or you might want to be really detailed like Fred Edwin Church and have really tiny details and that's also pretty impressive so you can do whatever you want just don't forget to let it out and enjoy your art bye friends